Hello brothers and sisters, it's me again Peter. Today is Sunday morning and um, <laughs> I haven't even taken my breakfast yet so don't blame my voice. <laughs> uh, I want to share a dream I had last week uh, on the 13th and in this dream I was in Israel and this Jewish man came to me and looked me in the eye. He just kept looking at me and then he called me the Benjamin I don't know what that means but he called me the Benjamin and then when he called me that I was filled with the Holy Spirit and I felt like fire was burning through me and I started I started quoting the scripture like uh, the prophecies of uh, Ezekiel and I started like preaching to the children of Israel and I said the Lord has gathered you from the lands of the north, from east and west and south, and he has brought you here. And the Lord has established the nation of Israel. And no longer is it divided as it was in the past. Now the nation of Israel is as one. It is one. Judah and Ephraim are one. In the mountains of Israel no longer are they divided no longer Israel is it a divided kingdom but they are one in the mountain of Israel so I keep I kept preaching and preaching quoting this scripture they just kept they just they just continue to come out like like I don't know they just kept like I felt like when I was speaking I was I felt like fire was devouring like devouring through me and I was telling them the Lord has said once he has established the nation of Israel once he has brought you that he has brought the children of Israel back in this land David the Messiah will be your prince forever the Messiah is coming my last message was was the Messiah is coming he is coming and his reign is from everlasting to everlasting he will reign forever the kingdom of God is coming and I kept preaching and preaching quoting the scripture quoting the, the prophet Ezekiel and I woke up and when I woke up I was like that was like it was so vivid and so real and then something creepy happened the next day. The next day, Saudi Arabia bans the name Benjamin. The, the, the next day on the 14th, Saudi Arabia bans the name Benjamin in Saudi Arabia. So no kid in Saudi Arabia can be named Benjamin. So I know it sounds creepy, but it was so powerful. And the truth is Jesus is coming and we better, we better be prepared for his coming no matter what you're going through right now no matter what addiction you are in it Jesus can set you free remember the God we serve he is mighty to save he is the same God who split the Red Sea in daylight so that his chosen people may pass through he is the same God that made the water to come out out of a rock he is the same the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt they didn't know how to fight they were not warriors but they they were victorious over 31 empires before they were they reached to the promised land they were victorious they, do you know why they were victorious because the Lord was with them and because the Lord went before them keep resisting evil and the Lord will go before you and level the ground for you he is the same God who brought down the walls of Jericho he is the same God who protected Daniel from the den 
full of lions. And he is the same God who protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they were thrown into the fire. He is the same. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Whatever war you have in your life, it can come down trembling. Jesus can break that wall. If he did break the wall of Jericho, he can break everything. He can break any addiction. He can break anything that is creating hindrance in your walk today. If you're willing. He says, I stand at the door and I knock. If any man hears me and open the door, I will come in and soup with him. Open the doors of your heart. Open the door for Christ. Invite Christ in and let him fight the battle for you because you cannot fight this war. You can't. On your own, you can't. But Christ in you, you can. You can. Because he has already won the battle. Satan is fighting like a losing battle because he is already defeated. Jesus has already won. From the foundations of the earth, even before the foundations of the earth were made, Jesus had already won the battle. So he is fighting a losing battle. And he knows he's defeated. He knows he's defeated. Christ the Lord wins in the end. And we win. We who trust in the Lord. Not on our own strength, but in the Lord. Trust in Him. And believe me, you will see miracles and wonders when you trust in the Lord. Because He is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is the same God who said He's going to scatter the children of Israel but later gather them and establish them into one nation. And we have seen it. We are witnesses. Has it not happened? It has. And the children of Israel, they are back in the land. In our generation, Israel is a nation. A king is coming. The King of Glory, the Messiah, whose reign is from everlasting to everlasting. And He is coming. So be prepared and get ready. And always rejoice in the Lord and abide in Him. Abide in His Word and pray that the Lord may fill you with the Holy Spirit, that He may baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Like John the, Baptist, John the Baptist said, I baptize you with water, but the one who comes after me, he baptizes with fire and the Holy Spirit. Let Jesus Christ baptize you with the Holy Spirit. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be in you all and keep holding on and fighting for the truth. Peace, Jesus Christ. Shalom.